Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. So today we are going to discuss about reflected accesses and this one is the second part of accesses series. So before starting, uh, we will discuss some common, uh, common steps to how to find the, uh, you can say, accesses. And the most important thing is that uh, this is the right platform if you are a bug bounty hunter or you, you want to begin with uh, bug bounties and you want to change the domain into cyber security then you are a right place so today let's start uh, because th this video is going to be very long uh, maybe i think uh, uh, near about 15 to 20 minutes uh, so let's discuss the what what are what are the common steps uh, what are the steps we should uh, check for reflected accesses so uh, steps to check reflected accesses on any website right so the first step uh, you need to find the parameter find the parameter such as you can say for example uh, any uh, search box input fields etc so these points you can you can also uh, write uh, as of your notes so this is the our first goal that we need to find the parameter after finding the parameter uh, we need to give the input right and we need to give the input once the input is reflected so the first th third step step should be uh, if our input will reflect we will uh, execute or inject payload right so these these this is the common steps uh, we need to follow and once uh, these are the things uh, in your, will be in your mind then it, uh, the criteria or you can say the thing will be very clear that what you need to find and what where you want uh, you want to execute your payload file or uh, you can say payloads or any java script or any type of script uh, for accesses right so so let's start and i'm starting it from very basic uh, let's say we have a website right we have this website and as a reflected accesses we know very well uh, if you don't know about the ex concept of accesses please go through uh, the, my previous video uh, you can click on uh, their i uh, option and you will find that video as well so for reflected accesses uh, let's say we we found one of the box right here one of the search box and let's say we are giving hello. Uh, we are we are going to check whether it's reflecting or not. So it's reflect reflecting, right? And uh, you can also check in the uh, view page source, right? You can go here and control F hello. So hello is reflecting in this page. Now we are going to execute some JavaScript, right? So we need to give the payload here a script alert let's say one two three and a script so which which payload i am giving here i am giving the this payload right i am going to execute this payload here So it's saying something error. I think I have made a mistake somewhere. Okay, so here is that should be a script. Right. So let's copy that, go at the home page again and paste it. Now see the pop up is now coming. It has been come. But uh, what you will do if you uh, scan the whole page uh, let's say uh, this script is not working 
here and it is sanitized with those script because the website always sanitize with these things right so now we have bob suit oh movavi is opened okay let's see close it okay now so what we are going to do we are going to yeah so we are going to scan all the space so all the parameters whatever the parameters will be available in this uh, you can say in this website that will automatically come in the bob suit so i am going to crawl this i am going I'm going to crawl this using the bob suit so those who don't aware about the bob suit uh, they can comment down in the video and uh, uh, i will be very happy to make some videos on bob suit uh, from basic to advanced because there are many options you can see uh, you can uh, check here there is a sequencer target intruder if you guys not aware about this then please comment in the uh, comment box uh, so yeah so once i will uh, get you from your side i will definitely make some videos on bob suit if you are not aware about it so i'm going to crawl this let's say uh, i'm going to proxy and intercept is on now what i'm let's say i'm yeah i'm increasing the font now uh, what i'm going i'm just reloading it I'm just reloading it and I got the intercept here right so right click scan or crawl if you you want to audit that you can also use crawl and audit but I'm going to use crawl right so okay once you will uh, press okay then after that I'm just uh, offing the intercept going on the target see here uh, this one is scanning uh, uh, stestphp.oneweb.com, right? So the what was the first step you have already seen? What was the first step? We need to find the parameter for reflected accesses, basically. So here, the ticks one is the parameters, right? So I'm just shorting it. Okay, I have shortened it in the descending order. So these were these are the ones the ticks one are the parameters, and the non-ticks one is not a parameters, not having any parameters. So how you will get to know that this one is parameter by knowing this thing. Let's say this one something that will be something like uh, you can say uh, question mark id is equal to something right so this is called the parameter whatever the parameter there is we need to uh, execute the payload there so similarly uh, take any of the parameters so firstly I'm taking this right click send to repeater and I'm going to repeater now I'm checking for I'm just uh, let's say uh, hello so that should be reflected if it is not reflecting it means that is not vulnerable see it is not reflecting in anywhere this is only the error we are uh, we are getting but uh, apart from this we are not getting anything so again we are going in the target uh, section okay before this i am just okay that's cool again uh, we are going to see what are the parameters so now i'm trying the different parameters let's say a uh, query one so sending to the repeater in the repeater part i'm going to hello right so let's search is hello reflecting no so we are getting zero matches this is also not reflecting so you need to uh, keep patience and keep trying so this one is the post one so i'm just uh, uh, sending the to the repeater again so now here uh, we have something search for is equal to and so this is basically the search bar so let's say let's try there so hello again search in there there okay this time we got the result right now what i'm doing what i will do 
just right click there say into intruder click on intruder positions right so now you have to decide which which field reflected so this parameter has been reflected so i am going to fix that i am going to add it as a payload because i need to uh, uh, execute payload here okay i added there attack type is uh, sniper go in the payload section so now here you if you have list of accesses payloads you can load from here or else you can also add from here in the add button let's say i'm just uh, simply adding one of the script a script alert 123 correct so i'm adding here but i have also lot of accesses payload that payload i will also share with you so i'm just accesses.txt yeah now we are good to start the attack so now here how you will recognize recognize that uh, that payload has been executed that's very simple you need to check the status code the 200 is showing that yes it is executed but we need to also check the length the length should be greater than this one which one the zero one after the zero that those having the length of uh, greater than this one it means the payload has been executed and there is a high possibility chances that you will get the uh, accesses there so let's say okay length uh, i have shortened the length and pick any of the any of the uh, just uh, right click here show response in browser copy and go in mozilla so this one is not executed right no problem we will try another one there is lot of let's say script document dot type show response go there again see we we got the result it means there is some accesses which is already reflected as accesses which is already present now you you got to, uh, uh, at this one similarly similarly you can you can search multiple you can search for multiple accesses in a single website and you can report that so i am going to discuss some of the reports uh, where the uh, security researchers got some bounties so i have already opened some of the poc that is the proof of concept Okay, so hope you you guys have already uh, under, understood this process and the most important is that the steps these steps are very important keep in mind and search for the reflected accesses so uh, yeah we have the first one is there see here what this person has done uh, there was a marketing uh, site Vistia right not Vistia, yeah. Oh, great. So he got the reflected accesses on hackerone.com itself. For that, he got the $500 bounty. So what he did, he just executed these scripts there and he found that vulnerability. So he also mentioned the steps to reproduce. So he vis visited this link, right? After that, uh, he executed his payload and got the bounty here. Similarly, similarly we have also ma many of the reports such as uh, there is a video. right? There was a video and that link was this one. But uh, he just captured that uh, uh, intercept in the buff suit, uh, captured all the packets and only the links he just replaced those requests with these payload with this payload he replaced and he got the pop-up for that only pop-up he got the 250 dollar so you can imagine if you are starting uh, your career as a bug bounty it's going to be very fun so and the first thing is that you need to keep patience for everything 
so uh, that's from uh, that's from the session uh, we will come with another one with the stored one there are yet many uh, many uh, pocs and many live hunting is just uh, yet to be coming and we will upload it soon so if you like that uh, if you understand these all the concepts uh, uh, just like uh, comment it and uh, hit the press button press button of like and subscribe this channel thank you so much for connecting bye bye take care